So we're going to begin our deep dive by starting with the file picker and creating new projects. So what we're going to talk about is importing documents, the formats that we support, uh, drag and drop. We're going to talk about the file picker and different ways you can view your files, how you edit uh, and, and uh, reorganize your files, how you can sort them and how you can search them. So this is the liquid text file picker. You guys probably already pretty familiar with it, but uh, but nonetheless, the way liquid text works it's, is it's a project oriented uh, way of organizing things. So e each item here uh, isn't simply a document, it's a project. And each project can contain many documents, many pages of notes and so on. The way you create a new project is you start by importing uh, a document that you'd like. You can import a document by, for example, clicking open file. And over here, you see, for example, we could import several different uh, several different documents, and each document we import will uh, will form a new project. Okay, we already have a few, so we don't have to do that again. The formats that Liquitex supports right now, uh, natively we support PDF, but uh, we have built-in converters for Word files, PowerPoint files, uh, and even web pages. Uh, if you're using a Liquitex on your iPad, let me even show you how that works. For example, if we do Wikipedia reading, and you say you want to start a new project to look over to uh, uh, dig deeper on reading, and you're going to start with a Wikipedia article on it, simply hit import. And here we are. We've imported the web page, and now we can start working on this project. Liquitex can also actually import pictures. Um, so if you were to, let's say, have documents that you didn't even scan but just took photos of, you can click on open picture and you can create a new project uh, document based on pictures as well. Now, if you, the other way of creating new projects in Liquid Text is simply by drag and drop. Uh, whether you're on the iPad or on Windows or even on a Mac, you can just drag PDFs, Word files, PowerPoint files, uh, JPEGs right from your uh, desktop directly into Liquid Text and it'll create a new project or ask you if you want to add the uh, files to an existing project. Excellent. Okay, now, uh, now let's talk a little bit more about how to work with the file picker. Now, as you guys probably know, you can switch between uh, a list view and a tile view. Uh, you also can switch into edit mode. In edit mode, you can select one or more items. You can move them to a different folder, delete them, uh, or send them as liquid text projects, just like this. Uh, you can change how things are sorted in liquid text, whether by name or by date. Uh, and of course, you have something called global search. So for example, if we wanted to find all projects with the word Earth design, we just type it and it shows us all the documents uh, and all the projects that have the word design. Okay. So this is the in-depth discussion of creating new projects uh, and the file picker. We talked about importing uh, documents, one or several, the, for, uh, the formats that we support, uh, how you use drag and drop, for the file picker, we talked about different view modes, how to edit, sort, and global search.